A Detroit teen is making national headlines and inspiring so many others. He's using a competitive platform to empower those in power to make real change. He wrote a speech about an issue that has plagued our country's past and is still present today, and people listened. 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom talked with this young man on a mission. You know, it always brings me so much joy to share with you the accomplishments of young people right here in the city of Detroit. They are speaking truth to power. They are using their voices and their passion to spark change and start conversations. And young King Bethel is doing just that. We can make a change. We're the future. If we take advantage of our youth and speak now, there could be a possibility that the change will happen sooner than we intended it to be. 15-year-old King Bethel is so wise beyond his years, some may say, perhaps because he is a leader taking a stand and speaking out against injustice. How we can be the most successful is if we always fight. Fight to right the wrongs of the world. King is a student at the Detroit School of Arts. He is also a student of the Downtown Boxing Gym Youth Program. And that is where he found out about Project Soapbox, a public speaking competition. So you have to write a speech and it has to be about an issue that you're most passionate about. And then I said, I want to do redlining. And they said, that's a very interesting topic. Write about it. This was very interesting to me because I've heard of Paradise Valley and Black Bottom before. But the fact that I'm being taught it, you know, which we should be learning at a younger age, it hit home for me because this is where I'm from. My grandparents have stories to tell me as well. Now, I believe all of us have heard of systemic racism, but more specifically, not a lot of us know what redlining is. Redlining, an illegal discriminatory practice in which a mortgage lender denies loans or an insurance provider restricts services to certain areas of a community, often because of the racial characteristics of the applicant's neighborhood. Those things are painful because like, it's racism, it's discrimination. Well, I just want it to end. The city needs to be given money to build new houses for a better quality of life and demolish blighted, long-term abandoned homes that make our community unsafe. Well, King's words were powerful. His speech went viral. It resonated with so many people. His passion, palpable, poignant. Actually, one, I'm just glad that my voice was heard first and foremost. Nationally. From Michigan representatives. And recognize the small change we make today may be the biggest change of tomorrow. Thank you. Do you think there will be change? Hopefully, you know, hopefully. My dream is to become successful so I can help out my city. And to inspire others, to be bold, to be courageous. And as you rise, bring others along. In Detroit, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. Pretty powerful story there, Andrea. Thank you so much. So King, a student at University Preparatory Academy High School and also a student of the downtown boxing gym, was a finalist in the project Soapbox Competition. Chambers wrote that powerful speech on the importance of emotional well-being as well from a personal perspective. Congratulations to both young men. We are so proud of you and we need you out here.